I have seen for the last two years that my solar panel can only receive sunlight from one direction, even after 12 noon. As a result, I can't get enough electricity for half the day, which at least for me I did not feel right. So that is why I decided that I will build a solar tracking system. In return, I can get enough power from my solar panel. It is good to mention here that my solar panel tracking system only consumes 200 milliampere current when the motor is running, which is a really great thing, right? Even this big system is working very nicely without any difficulty. It is very easy to make. If you want to make it, watch the video very carefully from beginning to end. I am pretty sure you remember in my previous video you saw that I made a servo. And I hope you remember there was a part of that PCBs that I will use in today's project. It is better to say here, JLC PCB is the number one PCB manufacturer company in the world, where always you will get excellent benefit when you order your PCB. Even you can choose any PCB color for free of cost. There are also many benefits such as SMT service, stencil, PCB panel, gold plate, even you can choose your favorite PCB's thickness. To take advantage of all of those opportunity, today upload your grabber file by visiting the JELS PCB website for few dollars. I have two 50 watt solar panel and you can see which are big enough in size. So I have to make a structure for them so that my solar panel can easily rotate in any two direction. I mean east and west. Ok guys, let's start the building the structure.
This is the powerful motor which I used in the previous video which is really capable of moving this large solar panel back and forth. And on the other hand for this motor I have put a pulley which made by a 3D printer so that I can fit a nylon rope in it. And remember you must twist this rope clockwise and anticlockwise so that it works properly. Beside I used two pulley to keep the rope at the right angle which I got from a old Xerox machine you can use any other pulley if you want which I will attach the frame of the solar panel here and with this thought in my mind then I stuck this motor through the nut and bolt in the middle of the solar panel and hopefully you know guys this is the servo controller board that we saw in the previous video to know how it works I must tell you to watch the previous video then you will understand everything correctly since I want to turn the solar panel into a servo so definitely I must attach this board to the frame of the solar panel with some screw then I will attach the two motor wire to this screw terminal for Kupover communication motor to this HVCIC. And I will not forget to connect off solar panel 22 volt wire to the other terminal. Okay, you can see guys our solar panel is activated properly. Okay, now let's check this out. With that in my mind, I will use a servo tester here to make the movement around. And see, my solar panel is moving properly and my PID level is also being calculated very well. It seems like a special success at least for me. And I hope you can see when the my solar panel motor is running it consuming roughly 200 million per current which is very good efficiency and that's a huge profit right? And even our server panel is working very nicely but friends there is still some work to be done because our solar panel are not yet able to follow the sun. For that I need another board. And that was what I ordered from GLC PCB. Today I will use half of it. Ok don't waste any more time. Let's mount all the component to this PCB. Here you can use Atmega 8 instead of Atmega 328P. And it is good to say here I am using here Atmega 8. You can also use Arduino if you want. This is very easy to make, circuit diagram you will find in the description box as you always get. And you can see guys my PCB is done. The only part left is that I must use a LDA sensor here to follow the sun. So I will use two sensors here which I converted to a dot board. And I will attach this solar panel at both ends. And you know guys it's where definitely I will attach to my PCB. Ok no problem all our work has been done properly. Now it's time to our final test is my solar panel able to follow the sun. So definitely I will check again to find out. And you can see when I put my hand on the sensor of my solar panel that's when my solar panel turned to look for light. In the same way whenever I put my hand on the other end there is movement in the opposite direction. That's very funny isn't it? And this means that my solar panel has been able to track the sun properly. And you can see finally my project is done. And if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section. Ok guys that's it for today. I don't know how you like this video. If you like this video please like it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay well and stay healthy.